Okay, I'm back again. This is the last video that I'm gonna be making from my Boston trip. Um, I just made two other videos that you'll see posted before this that were actually on some mystery bag and jars that I just bought because they were cheap and I so far past made my money back on them, which makes me happy because usually I hate opening those things. That being said, I also purchased um, just stuff that I got in hauls where I just bought stuff. Um, so, uh, the, so this is my jewelry haul from the, you know, multiple thrift stores that I visited while I'm on this. I love going to a new city and checking out new thrift stores, um, you know, consignment stores, uh, you know, antique markets, the like. Um, you know, because as I've told you before, I own an antique booth here in the Pittsburgh area. And, you know, so that kind of is the world I came from was the antique world. So anyways, um, let me get started on sharing you with you some of the, just the things that I bought um, in my haul. Um, we'll start with this little tin box. I believe that it's sterling. I'm not at home. That's why everything looks different. I'm sitting in a hotel room trying to get the lights right. That's why you have all these shadows, which normally I don't have in my videos because I don't have my normal thing. But um, this is a really nice um, box. Don't know the history on it. I do believe it's sterling. I will clean it up when I get home. But I bought that for six bucks. Okay. Let me think what else I got at that same store. Um, I got this really pretty um, Sterling 9, uh, 925 um, necklace. I believe I paid half of $9.99, so I think I paid $5, but um, it's really pretty. Kind of the texture on the um, metal kind of is very sparkly. I don't know what you kind of call that texture and it's not smooth, but it definitely is sterling silver. Obviously it was marked that way, but it's um, also on the, um... come on, focus for me, on the lobster claw glass there. So that was a neat little necklace, I liked it. Um, I also picked up, trying to show you all the stuff from that one particular store. Um, this was a pretty brooch to me. Um, with some yellow, um, I don't know if there's citrine. I could not find a maker's mark on this, um, brooch, but I don't know. It was just very pretty to me. I just liked it. I bought it anyways, just because I liked it. Okay. At that same store... Um, I got this beautiful vintage um, necklace. Uh, it is Trafari. It's got a Trafari hang tag. The only problem is it's missing um, one rhinestone. But I'm hoping that I can get it home and see if I can find something that I could use for that. Or maybe what I could do is move a rhinestone from here and, you know, replace one of a different color somewhere else. I'm not sure. But it was just so pretty... This was like for 99 cents, this particular necklace on the rack. So I couldn't not get it. It was really nice. Trafari. Vintage. Vintage Trafari. Okay. I also got um, from that same place um, these two Cloisonne um, bracelets. Um, that are in good condition. They're not like chipped or anything. So they were like, ended up being like two fifty dollars each. I love these little bracelets. I have a couple that I wear. Okay. In that same um, place, this was like an, an, an opal, maybe fire opal um, sterling silver ring. Um, it has kind of gold, I guess, I guess for meal over the sterling silver. Um, it does have its uh, mark in here. If you can see it. Right there. Um, 
a little bit of the gold is rubbing off, so I don't know how I want to handle it. I don't know if I want to rub off all the gold just so I can see the sterling silver only. I don't know. It's just a teeny bit rubbing off on the very back, but it is still sterling silver, so I don't, I don't really know how I want to handle that. But I'll figure it out. Okay. Mm. This, this was at a different thrift store. I got these for $3.99. Let me take them off this card. But to me, they were a great find because I don't think that someone was quite aware that they were actually 925. A neat little it's actually kind of reminds me of the same texture as this um, but again I I don't think they meant for where is it marked I'm trying to figure out which side I saw it on was it on that side or the other side Oh, it's on this side. There you go. Marked right there. Anyways, so I picked those up for $3.99. I liked them. I also had visited a little antique store. Um, usually I don't really like shopping in antique stores for jewelry because usually it's priced too high. Most of the people in there know what they're doing, so they don't often, they price things pretty well. But I did happen to come across this um, definitely glass bead and um, some AB kind of rhinestone. Um, these are uh, faux pearl, but it had just an absolutely gorgeous, um, uh, you know, clasp here that the first thing I noticed was that it was sterling silver. Uh, and I, my, I would guess that this is probably a garnet I'll have to get it home and test it when I have all my kit stuff. But I got that um, necklace for $8, which to me, I, I don't know. I thought it was beautiful. At an antique store, that's pretty darn cheap. I don't think the person realized it was sterling. Too bad for them, I guess. <laughs> Trying to make it so you can see the clasp. But that's the pretty part. Okay. Um at that same antique store. Um, this is total costume jewelry. This is um, not, you know, any precious metal or anything, but it is like brand new condition. And I just thought it was a really cool, um, let me take my own ring off here. Well, I can't take it off right now, but it, um, I just thought it was a really, let me flip my ring, then I can wear it. I thought it was a really cool little ring that I could sell. I liked it, it's a kind of little, black rose there. I don't know what brand it is, but he was cool. Also at that same antique store, um, I found these Italian glass beads, hand painted. They're just beautiful. I love all the colors in them. I've seen um, other kind of Italian glass beads. Um, I can't remember what they're called when they have like all these fancy colors in them. But uh, I do know that they're Italian. There's a name for them. But these were really beautiful. I think I paid ten dollars for those, which is a lot for me. But I like them. I like the colors. Okay. At that same um, antique store, um, I picked this up for two dollars. Another cloisonne. So now I have three colors of those right there. Okay, this is a different store. Gorgeous natural stone with um, sterling silver accents on this necklace. Um, love these unique beads here. Um, the clasp kind of is an old clasp. I'm pretty confident it's sterling silver. I don't have my stuff to test it, but it's definitely vintage. It's very old. 
and I just, in general, I'm pretty sure these are also sterling silver beads down here. I should get my thing to wipe off the tarnish. I should have done that before I showed you it. But anyways, I, um, I guess that I did pay $5 for that one, which is kind of a lot for me to buy in a thrift store. But anyways, there's that. Oh my goodness, this. I don't know. I don't always buy vintage, you know, statement necklaces. A lot of times they're not clean or in decent condition uh, in there. A lot of times missing their rhinestones. This is extraordinarily heavy. No missing rhinestones in there. And it has got a hang tag for um, Ann Taylor. I know they, they make really nice jewelry. So I think I paid like $6 for that or something. I loved it. I could not walk away from that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Let's see what else I can show you here. Okay. Um, these are really pretty. Um, twist back vintage earrings with just a really lovely kind of, um, you know, pattern in there. I guess those are butterflies. They're really pretty. Um, and I believe that they are sterling or, oh no, I'm sorry. These are gold filled. Let me get my loop to look. There you go, one slash 20, 12 karat gold filled. I paid $5 for those. I loved them. A little butterfly earrings there. At the same store, um, I came across these really beautiful dangle, um, probably blue topaz, sterling silver earring. They have the mark on um, right there on the um, earring hook. I don't know if I see them on the earring, but I know that they're also 925. Really pretty. Love them. Love, love, love. I'm going to keep going here. This was a vintage pin. I think I paid $3 for this, oh, $4. Um, it is sterling silver, just extremely tarnished and old. Um, but back there on the writing back there, it says sterling silver, literally the writing sterling silver. So I really like that nice kind of, um, you know, uh, I don't know. I just left all the circle effects there. It was very pretty. Not symmetrical pin. Okay. Another gorgeous set of, these are just outstanding. Oh my God, I love them. Let's see if I can put them in my hand all pretty. Gorgeous um, crystal dangle. A, B accents, definitely vintage um, as they are um, uh, sort of uh, clip back, you know, like, and I believe there's a brand on here. Maybe I'm not gonna be able to read it. So let me look at it under my loop, hold on. These were gorgeous to me. It says, oh, it says L-A-G-U, N-A, Laguna. Is that a brand you recognize for vintage earrings? I don't know, those are gorgeous. Just beautiful to me.
Okay. I'm going to just show you one or two more items here because I have another set of stuff I want to show you. Um, so what do I want to show you to close this off? Um, I guess I'll show you this. Sorry, I'm getting tangled here with some of my necklaces. Okay. This was at a thrift store. This is definitely freshwater pearl um, and a sterling silver um, lobster claw clasp. Um, and I believe that the beads in between those, um, you know, uh, freshwater pearls are also sterling silver. This other chain that came on this card, because I paid $5 for both of them. Um, let me take this off. It is not sterling silver. It is just a metal ball chain, kind of bigger one. But I mostly bought it for the um, this really nice necklace, which for $4.99 was not too shabby, in my opinion. Okay. Let me just show you a few earrings and then I'll clear this off. For, uh, they had some earrings on the little thing. I think they were $2.99. These are marked sterling silver. That drop part there is sterling silver, I believe. I just got to clean them up. Another pair of earrings I also got for $2.99. Another Sterling silver set of earrings. I was going to try to show you where they say 925 on them, but they do. There you can see it right there on that earring. So those are good. And then I'll show you these very last ones. Sorry, this stuff's getting tangled. Another set of sterling silver earrings that I got for $2.99. Um, with sterling silver backs. They definitely have their marks on them. I don't know if you can see that, but they do. It's hard to read it, but it, it is. So that is uh, my first grouping of my haul. Love all of it, um, all individually purchased by me. Let me clear this off. It's so pretty. Um, and get you round two. And then I'll be done from my Boston trip of showing jewelry. And obviously, all of this is going to get put on my, unless there's a few things I decide to keep on my um, YouTube. Not YouTube, I'm sorry. Yes, I mean eBay page. Okay, um a brass sort of foldable necklace that I got. Very heavy. I love all the details there. I don't know. I like it. I had another necklace like this that I got from a friend of mine in my antique store. That this reminded me of it. I like it. Okay. This is so very heavy all natural stones, all individually knotted in between them. And then we change to a different stone here, whatever that is. I bet you there's some type of quartz. Then another stone, I paid half this, so I paid $4 for that. Very heavy, all well, well, well crafted, shall I say, well crafted necklace. Okay. I got this for um, $4. I don't think that they knew that it was sterling silver, but it is, because I found marks. Um, it is so tarnished, I'm gonna have to clean it up, but I paid $4 for this, and um, it says Italy on that side. You can see on the lobster claw clasp. It's very tarnished, but there's a 925 mark. Let me bring it down here. 
Um, anyways, so it's got its marks on there. Um, yeah, so this has got to get cleaned up. But, you know, like, it's not magnetic. Definitely sterling. I loved it. All the little roses. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Let me keep going here. I don't know. This was a cloisonne kind of weekend. I think this might be a cheaper version of cloisonne because some of these other ones that I showed you a second ago, these... They had the marks on the inside too, which I just must think that those must be nicer ones. These are also definitely cloisonne, probably done by a different maker, but it, um, you know, on the inside, it's just the normal, um, you know, one color. I mean, it doesn't have all the, the decoration there. The enamel in there is just plain. But anyway, still nice little bracelets. Okay, gosh, another one. Now this one was different. I paid like $2 for this. It has this cloisonne part here, but then it goes to like a part where it's carved. I don't know if that's cinnabar. Cloisonne, carved. I don't know if any of you have any experience in that, but um, anyways. I thought that was a very interesting, different looking style of that. Okay. These are sterling silver. Um, they do say it on the um, twisted part there. It says sterling, the word sterling. Um, but they're really pretty um, vintage twist back earrings, which I loved. I think I paid $4 for this. Didn't mean to move that. Okay, another pair of vintage sterling silver earrings that I picked up. Very pretty. There. Um, also sterling silver marked down there. Oh no, up at the top that says, what does it say? Sterling something. Sterling something. And then it's got number down there, which is not a sterling silver number. Something three, six. Hmm. They're definitely vintage. Maybe it's just three six by itself. I don't know what the significance of the three six is, but they are sterling and pretty. Anyways, cute little vintage earrings there. Okay. Okay, this was confusing for me. This was a $3 bracelet. It's really heavy. Definitely has the look of sterling silver, which is why I was curious why they had it marked as $3. I don't know, maybe they didn't see it, but this one link is gold in color when all these others are silver in color. And just that one link says 18 karat gold on it. Like just 18 karat, which tells me, I mean, not gold filled or anything. It's just 18 karat which tells me that I bet you that all these other links are just regular 925. I mean, they're silver tone. I need to get home and test it, but for $3, I took a chance and got it anyways, especially after I saw the 18 karat gold on that one link. This is just vintage. This is not anything but Personally, I loved it. It had all these really beautiful, like, sort of leaves on it with rhinestones on some of them. A really nice chain. 
here. I did not, oh, it did have a hang tag, I lie. The hang tag said, uh, Natasha? I don't know, maybe that's not vintage. I know it's not sterling silver or anything, but I just loved the look of it. It only cost me $3. I liked it. Let's see if I can lay it out pretty. I did not do a good job of laying it out. Let me try it again. Come on, guys, cooperate. I would appreciate it if you cooperated. Okay. All right, only a few more things I wanna show you. Um, I don't know, the people at this thrift store, clearly, either they were given stuff away pretty darn cheap it was sterling silver or they didn't know it was sterling silver. I don't know what. But for both of these chains, um, it was $6.99, which I really didn't care about the gold chain, the gold tone chain, because I I knew that was not, I believe it's Avon hang tag. It's not any sort of precious metal. Is that what that says? I might be lying. It says, oh, it does say Avon. It's just upside down. Let me do it again. Maybe that's why we couldn't read it. God. Annoying me. Sorry. Trying to get it to focus. Avon. Okay. So that was just a, you know, little heart necklace or one part of the necklace strung through the other part. I guess that's how it hung. Okay. But that really wasn't the reason why I got it. I got it because of this chain, which was pretty thick, pretty significant, and definitely um, 925. Heavy 925. There you can see it right there on that lobster call clasp right here. 95. Not magnetic. Very heavy chain. I, li I liked it. Definitely worth it to me to spend the money on that. Okay. Mm. I'm going to bring this all in because I'm almost done. Okay. And the very last thing I want to show you Another item that I purchased from the same thrift store, $6.99, had two necklaces on it. Again, I didn't buy it for the ball chain. I'll show you that one first. Just a normal ball chain, um, sterling silver. Marks on it, I have to find. You can see it on the lobster claw clasp right there. I mean the spring ring clasp. Just normal uh, sterling silver ball chain. And then the best find of the day, this is just absolutely extraordinary to me. Look at the gorgeous details of this kind of puffed, you know, circle, I mean heart pendant. Those to me, I believe those stones are probably a very light aquamarine or a blue topaz. I can't test them until I get home. It is 100% sterling silver. It has a locket because the mark is right there on the back of that bale. And then this box chain, of course, also has its um, marks. There and on the spring ring. And not bore you with me. Anyways, it is. But I just thought, I can't wait to find out the maker of this because I just thought that was beautiful. Worth it to me to spend $6.99 for two silver chains and a locket. So there you are. I showed it all. I found some awesome stuff here on my trip. 
Um, can't wait to get it posted up on my website. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all those awesome finds from my jewelry haul. Um, give me a like on the way out and um, follow me if you haven't yet, if you're enjoying this content and would like to see more. You guys have a great evening. Um, here in Boston tonight, it's supposed to be in the negative, super cold, so hopefully my car will start in the morning. Take care. Have a good night.